Hey everyone, one thing I'm often asked about is how I um, plant new lettuce plants in my system and then how I move the rest around to accommodate the new plants. So I'm going to show you quickly how I do that. I just harvested a couple heads and then I had one small plant that was crushed by my daughter when she was trying to pick her strawberries. So, I've got five empty spots in my rails that I'm going to fill with some newly planted seeds. So here, I have grow plugs. I put them into the one and a half inch net cups. And then I've got seeds, or some new plants. And what I do is I generally just put one seed in each plug. And the plugs and the seeds themselves have such a high success rate that it's pretty rare that it has a problem. Once in a while, one won't grow, but just for conserving seeds, it seems you only need one. So I've got the seeds in there, and now I'm going to go over to the rails and put them in and then shift the rest of the plants down, and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so I have open slots along the back rail, the main rail for bigger plants. So what I'm going to do is come to this section where I have plants that are closer together, but they're getting pretty big. And I'll pick some of the biggest ones. So this one here is pretty big. I'll pull it out. You'll see the roots are starting to grow. Sometimes they kind of tangle together with other ones. So I just pull real gently to get them out. And then I tuck the roots in, get them inside the hole, and then sometimes I give it a couple spins to kind of pull the roots in. And when I'm using two hands, it's a little bit easier. And I'll do that for all three spots. So here's another plant that's pretty decent size. Again, I'll pull it out. Move it over here, get all the roots tucked in, drop it in. So now those three are in, so now I just fill in these three holes with some of the seedlings. So you can see the seedlings are definitely too close right now, and they need to be moved to spread them out. So I'll pick some of these bigger ones and pull gently so I don't rip off some of the neighboring plants. And then the same idea. Just tuck the roots in. Get as many in as you can. You'll notice this plant looks a little bit long and skinny, and it is, but it should it should recover when it's in the light. It was kind of blocked by one of those bigger seedlings. And then move some of these fresher seedlings down. And now I've got five slots where I can put my newly planted ones. I just drop them in. And that's all there's to it. I would normally have the water on, I just have it off for the video. But once I turn the water back on, it'll get these all moist and the seeds will germinate and grow. And then every week I do the same thing. So I next week I'll harvest some more of these. Then I'll move some of these down. And then I'll move the seedlings down and put in new seeds. So that's kind of my my routine every week for harvesting and planting lettuce. Hope you found this helpful. If you want to see how I built the rails, I've got other videos on that. As well as 
we have a website with a full step-by-step -step tutorial on everything of how we grow our lettuce and other produce right in our home. Thanks for watching.